Hi, snack friends. Uh, me here telling you that I just reviewed the Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Bite flavor, uh, and it didn't record. So just wanted to let you know real quick, it's a Coke Zero product. It kind of tastes kind of purple, artificially grapey, no extra caffeine, marketed towards gamers, isn't great, only comes in two packs that they call a case. Not great. Probably a D. Maybe an F. Let's be real. But we're going to move on from my frustration of not having recorded that and move on to something new. I've had this in my fridge since I took a road trip, uh, went out to Texas to see family, and I've come back and it, it, it has been um, sitting in my fridge taunting me. The year is 2022. It is a banner year for Mountain Dew. Are you, can you believe I'm saying these things? Why would I say these things? Well, they're releasing a lot of flavors this year. In addition to the hard Mountain Dew that is coming out this year, alcoholic Mountain Dew. Reminding yourself that Mountain Dew is, is like code worm for, word for like whiskey and moonshine. <laughs> It's come full circle. It's great. Uh, now, if they did just moonshine and Mountain Dew, you might have me on board, but that's clearly not what we're doing. So, Mountain Dew, they're going to have like a Baja Blast summer. They're doing a hard Baja Blast. They're doing standard Baja Blast is coming back. There's something called Baja Deep Dive. Um... I can't find what the flavor is yet. There is also Baja Gold. Gold Mountain Dew is not a color I really want. Uh, Baja Mango Gem are all coming out. There's Spark. That's like their strawberry lemonade. That wasn't that bad. I did grab a bottle of that and tried it before I started reviewing stuff. Uh, there was a Major Melon that came out last year, a watermelon flavor Mountain Dew. One bottle of that and I was good. I don't want to return to that. I don't think I'll ever come back to the the original ones. They're doing a, a Baja Blast energy drink. My friend George sent me the can the other day, a picture of the can, and it said immune support. And I'm like, you can't say immune support and Mountain Dew in the same sentence. And it's a lie, right? What vitamin is in there? B12? Maybe C? I don't know. But um, I got something that's going to wreck my palate and probably my body today. Friends, it's time to suffer. It's Mountain Dew flaming Hot. Because when your, your parent company owns <laughs> Pepsi and the company that makes Cheetos, which is, what, Frito-Lay, this is what happens. This is corporate synergy in a bottle. Or is this genius? Is this... There's a lot of people out there who really like flaming Hot Chips. It included. I can only eat, like, a little bag of it and not feel like dying. Because I am aging in my mid-30s. I'm not a young man anymore. Um, fine. We're, we're getting used to it. All right, let's let's see what's going on. This is a red soda. I thought Code Red was red. This is red with a capital R. And uh, pour it into a cup, see what's going on here. Red. Uh, contains 0% juice. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural flavor, whatever that means. Citric acid, gum arabic. Sodium benzoate, caffeine, sodium citrate, yellow five, our old friend, uh, glycerol, ester of rosin, calcium disodium, EDTA, to protect flavor. Yellow six, red 40, another classic friend, and that's where it ends. Friends, if I don't make it through this one, know that I love you. It smells like Mountain Dew with a twinge of something.
I'm guessing Flaming Hot Dust. I cannot believe it. Like, I'm not even going to sip yet. I cannot believe I've already seen 12 packs of this in the store. I thought this was going to be bottles only, exclusive to certain shops like they do. Like, there's a Purple Thunder one that's only at Special K. Uh, Circle K, not Special K. <laughs> Circle K gas stations. Um, this is not what I thought they were going to try to push for in any meaningful way. I was like, this is a joke. We're going to release some bottles. We're going to sell out. Like the, I didn't get my hands on it, but if you do, let me know. Tropicana released a cereal that matches with OJ. Like that's the kind of stupid stuff. I'm like, yeah, you, you get in, get out, make sure you sell out of those and walk away. We're never looking back at that. That's what this feels like. That's what I thought Mountain Dew Flaming Hot was going to be. Not, there's 12 packs in your grocery store right now. I'm just sitting there. Because people are buying 12 packs of it? There was demand? I don't know. At the risk of this getting hot after I've had some. Is there supposed to be a heat here? I just tried my Trejo sauce. And that wasn't that hot. That shouldn't have dumbed my senses down. This is... Mountain Dew is already bright. This is just like... Mountain Dew. Your throat tickles a little bit. And it's a little brighter. Somehow. Now my friend did... Uh, boil this down into a, a nice little like cocktail shrub. I think I'm more interested in trying that. Then what's on display here? Because what's on display here is not impressive. Dare I'd say I'd rather just have a regular Mountain Dew. And not because it's like I'm a wuss and this is too hot. This isn't hot. If you're putting the flaming Hot logo. The little, the little flame boy on here. And telling me that there's caution. It's flaming Hot. I would hope it is. Maybe it's only flaming hot on the way out. Maybe. There's not a lot of heat here. And I've had spicy cocktails. I was about to say I've had spicy sodas. And I'm like, have I? And maybe some of those, like, grown-up Amaro sodas have, like, a much more punchy profile. This is disappointing. <laughs> Did I have high expectations for the flaming hot soda? No. Was I secretly rooting for this to be a soda that was too hot for me to handle? And I like, I need Tums. And I have a Tums festival. Yeah, I was kind of secretly hoping for that. I'm not going to lie. But here I am. A man. Alone. At his desk. Sipping. I don't want to share this with friends. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to buy the 12 pack of this, even if it was the last do there. Like I said, I don't go out of my way much for Mountain Dew. I do, and I will try and compare notes with my buddy George about, like, what's the, the weird new soda out? What's the weird new snack? That's part of why I do this. I think it's fun. You have a brave concept. And the execution is... A fourth is interesting flavor wise as what your entire like a bag of Cheetos Flamin' Hot or Doritos Flamin' Hot or Funyun Flamin' like those offerings. They're all in the same company. It's not like you collaborated with anybody. This is your parent company all working together. The the tacos at Taco Bell, same company that have the flaming hot stuff on it. Much, much better and more interesting than this. And I don't praise Taco Bell a lot. That's a D for disappointing. Let's uh, let's let's reconnect later and see where we get with those hard Mountain Dews. But I don't have high expectation anymore. We'll see. So, 
Thanks for tuning in. If you've got a snack you'd like me to review or rate or you just want to see me suffer, reach out, let me know. Have a good one.